Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? You know, I was talking to Boxing Eagle the other day, and he was telling me about this tweet that Edison Lara put out. And when I seen the tweet, I just seen the tweet this morning, and I had to talk about this. The picture is hilarious, and Edison Lara has a serious sense of humor. I mean, matter of fact, Laura, he's been clowning a whole lot lately. He's been on fire when it comes to clowning Gennady Golovkin. When this fight was first announced, Edeslani Lara, he said he was going to most likely fight Roman Gonzalez next to mock the Golovkin versus Brooke fight. And what's even crazier is Edeslani Lara, he's the guy that has been calling out Gennady Golovkin. And for whatever reason, Team Golovkin, they want no part of Edislandi Lara. They have no interest in fighting Edislandi Lara, which I get the comments in my comment section every day, and I hear fans talk about it every day. How come Lara he didn't fight? How come Golovkin didn't pick Edislandi Lara? I even asked Abel Sanchez that in an interview. As I told him, I said, Abel, you know, a lot of fans are going to ask the question. You know, if he's going to fight someone coming up in weight, how come he didn't fight Edislani Lara? Edislani Lara, once again, he's already fought on pay-per-view before. Uh, when he fought against Canelo, the numbers did pretty well. A lot of people believe that he beat Canelo Alvarez. Just the fact that Gennady Golovkin has the opportunity to go in there and try to do something to Edislani Lara that Canelo Alvarez couldn't do, that alone would be an impressive victory for Gennady Golovkin. But going back to the Kell Brook situation is kind of ironic because first of all, I was probably in the minority because I actually didn't have that much of a problem with this fight when I found out that they were negotiating with Chris Eubank and Eubank, he didn't want to take the fight, you know, for whatever reason, which I believe that fight is going to happen in the near future as well. But I know that they were pressed for time, Team Golovkin, I didn't really have that much of a problem with this fight, but when I seen Kell Brook stand next to Gennady Golovkin, and I'm not talking about in this Photoshop pic that you guys are looking at. I'm talking about when I seen the real pic of Kell Brook standing next to Gennady Golovkin, I was surprised how much smaller Kell Brook looked next to Gennady Golovkin. In fact, I made a video about it last week. Matter of fact, if you guys missed it, you can check it out. I think I titled the video is Kell Brook looking smaller and smaller next to Gennady Golovkin. Now, once again, guys, I'm going to tell you this, and I'm going to stick with this. Kell Brook, the way he's talking, with his level of confidence, I truly believe if Kell Brook is not hurt, if he hasn't been knocked down by, I said round six, but I may even say by round four, if Kell Brook, is still in the fight and he hasn't been hurt badly this may become a real fight you know by listening to Kell Brook talk what I gather is the fact that he feels he's in there with a bully you can tell that fires up and motivates Kell Brook even more I mean listen to what he's been saying recently He's saying things like, I can't wait to taste his power and his power doesn't bother me and wait until he feels my power. He's not going to be in there with a welterweight. He thinks he's going to be in there with a welterweight. Wait until he feels the venom in my hands. And see, he's been saying stuff on those lines. So I truly believe Kell Brook, he loves the role of David going up against Goliath. We'll see if Kell Brook can pull off what would be one of the biggest upsets in quite some time on September 10th. You know, I'll close with this question. The way Edislani Lara has been clowning Gennady Golovkin lately and calling him out at the same time, this would definitely sell a Golovkin versus Edislani Lara fight. So my question to Gennady Golovkin is, are you going to allow Edislani Lara to continue clowning you like this? Let's see if Gennady Golovkin ends up facing Edislani Lara, which is a fight that all of the boxing fans have been asking for for quite some time. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. This is Bobby.
Bobby, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation.